Hi, you and I. It's, yes, you're me and Anu lovers. Welcome to today's episode. Today, we're going to be reviewing this Master Chef mixer. Yes, and the Master Chef mixer, we're going to be checking how to assemble and disassemble this mixer. Trust me, assembling can be a little bit easy, but disassembling is not that easy. <laughs> so just follow me through as we do this but if you've not subscribed yet please do well to subscribe because you have premium content on this channel so this is the head of the mixer you can see it's master chef and this is where you put the whisk yes either the dough whisks or that for the butter any of them and now I'm going to bring out the yeah that's the wigs it has two types of wigs that's one and that's for the dough so I'm trying to get out the one for the dough so this is the one for the dough wig so it comes with two whisk yeah two excess okay here i'm going to be showing you this you have to press this place that is rough these rough edges to be able to take up this part so when you press it the bowl the mixing bowl is going to come out and you are now going to be able to fit it back so i'm doing it again you press it it comes out you're able to fit the bowl in there and you're also able to fit the head and the whisk So in this case now we are about to fix the head of the mixer so you have to slot it in you're going to see a part that you have to slot in so you just slot it in gently and you see it goes in then you press the down part but in this case i didn't want to press the down part because obviously we will soon be disassembling it so when you put it in there, you can put the whisk. Make sure it's very well fitted. And the both of them are supposed to be at the same height. So you can see it's very well fitted. The bowl is going to move just exactly the way it's supposed to move. It's not going to fall out the moment you plug it. So that's how your mixer should be fitted in. And it to keep rotating and rotating. I didn't have anything to do today with it, but I've shown in the last video where I did my husband's uh, birthday celebration on how you can fit it in. Now, this is the dough. You can also hang it there. This is the wicks for the dough. You can hang it there just in case you want to use it immediately after using this other whisk. So you can make use of the both of them. Now we can remove this and we will be disassembling it. So this assembling process starts now. So in order to remove the head, okay, no, we'll remove the whisk first. But yes, I'm just showing you all the panels that has, has one to five. When in order to remove the whisk, you press there and now to remove the wigs you have to press the black button above so when you click on the black button the both of them just falls out at once so you don't need to stress to know how to remove that's the eject button it's actually written on the manual eject button 
so after the eject then you slide that a little bit backward again just like the way you slided it before and you already have it out but most of the time when you started using the mixer once you slide it in you and you press this back side yes where my thumb is once you press that back side it might be a little bit challenging to open it so just take your time lift it up a little then you slide it back and it comes out just fine as usual housekeeping is very important so when you're done baking or when you're done using your mixer always do well to handle it with care yeah so that you'll be able to use it next time i hope this video has helped you if it has don't forget to give this video a thumbs up yes and don't forget to also subscribe if you've not yet subscribed so this is the hand mixer with rotating board